Well, guess what? We are talking high school national debate teams. Let's there, go. There is a tournament Your every house. year and people around the country compete to be recognized as some of the best public speakers around and uh, it's not us. No. Nope. No. Uh, nope. Ma Max, uh, how do you say your name, Max? Your last name? Baca. Baca. All right. Uh, it's in Chu, uh, which would be mm -hmm. something else. To You've never heard Baca. that before, have you? I, yeah, no. You're the first one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you are. Right, so Max, you went. You're from Perrysburg. Mm -hmm. You're at Perrysburg. What year are you right now? I just graduated. Just graduated. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you were in Phoenix, mm -hmm. and this was a, a national public speaking tournament. Yep. Okay. What happened, and how did you get there? So I had to compete in our district tournament, which uh, combined two districts. I don't remember which district we're combined with. And top two in my category qualified, which was dramatic interpretation. I lost dramatic interpretation. I did not make it to the octafinal. But I had a supplemental category called prose, uh, which is basically like any written work, reading it out. And I qualified in that to all the way to the final and got third place. Whoa. Third place out of, we're talking the entire country, right? Yep. So like 30 million people. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, during your high school career, how did you get into speech? Were you in theater? Or are you somebody who likes to perform? So I was in theater and I had a rehearsal with my friend Andy and it ended early and my dad was going to pick me up freshman year and I hung out in the speech room with him and I was like, I don't want to do speech. I'm not doing speech and debate. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he just told the coach, hey, this is Max. He's doing speech and debate. And she was just <laughs> got really excited and she was the sweetest lady and I just couldn't. Uh, break her heart and say no. So I just kind of got roped into it and then I fell in love with it. Okay. So, so you said prose. Give me an idea of what your subject matter was. So it, mine was a, uh, a script called So I Killed a Few People. It was a <laughs> oh. serial killer oh. on death row. Oh, it was a comedy. Yeah, it was really funny. Um, <laughs> but it was a serial killer on death row and he's kind of like, there's like the audience behind the glass. He's kind of like pointing out their hypocrisy for like thinking that he's a sick person, but they also want to watch him die. Mm. Wow, that's just some heavy stuff, man. Yeah. So when it got narrowed down, I'm assuming to like a top 10, a top five, and then a top three. I mean, did you think you had a shot at winning the whole thing? Uh, I mean, I had a moment where I was like, maybe, why not me? But the person who did win, she was phenomenal. I saw her piece in my uh, semifinal two, my semifinal two, and she was just insane. And also her subject matter was a lot more topical and important than mine was. Mine was like good, but it was also kind of just like, fun and shock value kind of stuff. <laughs> That's all right. So you like to perform. You obviously have a wonderful voice. You've closed the high school chapter. So what's next? I'm going to Ohio State for political science and Spanish. Not speech nor debate. Uh, I mean, political science has <laughs> a little bit of speaking sure. stuff included. But um, still figuring out what I want to do within that realm, whether it's campaign management or okay. uh, like. Um, so you enjoy politics. I do. Yeah. Okay. I took an AP government class this year and I just really loved it. It really sparked my interest. Hmm. And, and Spanish, apparently. So maybe an ambassador to Spain or something yeah, along those maybe lines. Maybe something like that. Yeah, you it, never know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is this something that uh, you always knew you could do this? I mean, like when you're talking to mom uh, before, you know, your bedtime, you're like, <laughs> uh, mom, come on, here's the reasons why. Were, were you good at this as a kid? Uh, yeah, I mean, my friends kind of know me for going into long winded stories all the time <laughs> and then they can't get out of them and then someone has to interrupt me and stop me so I'm, I'm, I have a natural inclination for it I say I think he's a little too young for cliff notes but you know you always knew the sure. person who told the long story oh, oh, sure. he'd say just give me the cliff notes well, what, what about TV TV or radio you could do that right yeah I mean sure hire me Oh, oh, I <laughs> like it. I love go. it. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your success story. We appreciate it and thank you so much for being here. Good luck with Ohio State. Go Bucks, right? Yeah. Go Bucks. Yeah, I'm saying it. All right, thank you. Appreciate you, Max. <laughs>